Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today for the Best Buy Canada blog, and this time I'm taking a look at two different National Geographic branded telescopes. The first one is called the Star App 70, and that one is a 70 millimeter refractor telescope that uh, makes use of a special app that comes with it. And the other one is called the National Geographic NG114MM because that one is a 114 millimeter Newtonian telescope with equatorial mount. And now the main difference between these two telescopes, one being a refractor and the other being a reflector, is that the uh, refractor, that bends light. And of course, it's much longer. It has a long cylindrical tube and basically curved glass lenses that magnify the view of whatever it is you're looking at and then they focus that view at the eyepiece and of course it's adjustable as far as the focal length and whatnot goes you can there's a little knob that you can lengthen it or shorten it and so that one bends light and the Newtonian telescope that one uh, is a completely different type of system and that one uses a curved mirror and that uh, focuses light to the eye. So uh, two totally completely different type of telescopes, but both excellent models. Uh, I've been testing these out for the last oh, three or so weeks, uh, trying to get the hang of using them. They are somewhat complex. Uh, there's a lot going on with telescopes and I will get into a lot of the different features and whatnot in the complete written review for these over at the Best Buy Canada blog. But here in the video, I just wanted to mostly show what they look like up close. And uh, I got a little bit of unboxing footage there for the Newtonian one. And also, I just wanted to show a little bit of footage of what I've been looking at with these. Now, it's not the easiest thing to get footage unless you have a special camera that mounts uh, onto where the eyepiece is. Uh, I don't have that. I just have my, my smartphone and trying to hold it steady over the eyepiece and get a shot. Not the easiest thing in the world. But we have had some very nice half moons uh, lately in the sky and I've been trying to look at those. Uh, the advantage of looking at a half moon is that um, because the sun isn't dead on it like with a full moon, uh, you're getting some very deep shadows in the craters and stuff and that gives you something to really, you know, something really cool to look at. And so I actually have used both telescopes for that purpose just to kind of do a bit of a comparison. Of course, the uh, refractor being a 70 millimeter and the uh, Newtonian reflector being 114 millimeter, obviously the 114 is more powerful than the 70. And so you do get a slightly better uh, view of the moon. And that's the footage that you're going to see here in the video. Uh, it will be a bit shaky and uh, any lack of focus isn't from the telescope. That is from my phone not being able to focus simply because uh, I got the shakes when I'm trying to, uh, to show you this stuff. But anyway, uh, both very excellent telescopes. I would say that the Newtonian, uh, the re reflector, is quite a bit uh, heavier. It's, it just feels a little bit more solid, probably slightly higher end than the uh, refractor, but both are very good telescopes. Uh, both will give you, you know, excellent views of all sorts of different objects, certainly all the planets in our solar system. Uh, in fact, I've been looking at uh, Jupiter a little bit, and I can clearly see three of the moons. Presumably, uh, normally you can see four, so presumably the other one is either behind or in front of Jupiter at the present time, and that's why I wasn't able to see it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not done with these things. I'm going to actually try to get a look at Saturn uh, here uh, up next. So lots of cool stuff that you can do with these. I will have a whole lot more detail like I say in the written review over at the Best Buy Canada blog but can definitely recommend these National Geographic telescopes. Uh, I had never really had um, you know this sort of product before in hand and I just been having a blast with them. Uh, as far as putting them together I just will quickly mention uh, the refractor maybe took 10 minutes it was pretty quick and easy, it's just a matter of setting up a tripod and then getting it on top of that thing. Uh, very quick and easy. Whereas the reflector, uh, definitely, definitely a little harder, probably took about a half an hour. Quite a few more bits and pieces involved uh, in setting it up. But again, it is a slightly higher end model, so it comes with more stuff as well. And that's probably part of the reason why it took a little bit longer to put it together. And the instructions, they were okay. 
but they were very small, so I actually had to take a picture of them and then blow up the picture in order to be able to see uh, exactly what the, was happening and the details and stuff. But anyway, definitely recommended either one of these, and I've been having a whole lot of fun with them. Uh, even though I'm living in the city and there's a lot of light pollution, I still have got a, an excellent look at, like I say, what I've tried to see so far. Uh, if I was going to try to see something uh, a little bit farther away, like, uh, you know, nebulas and that sort of thing, I probably would go out into the country in a, in a much darker area. I uh, probably would definitely do that. But, uh, you know, for being in the city, it's actually quite good. So that's all I've got to say about these for now. Uh, do check out the complete written review over at the Best Buy Canada blog if you haven't been there already. And thank you very much for watching the video here. And I will see you in the next one.